Sure, I want to talk to you about something. I found myself in a weird situation. I've seen a lot of people that have a lot of things that they've accomplished, a lot of certifications. They're already really far out in the ecosystem. And it's, it's something that I want, and I want it now. I mean, I'm looking at that, and I'm like, I'm envious. I would like to be there. I'm so glad you're talking about this. My name is Scott Stafford. And my name is Sherilyn Fish. And today, we are going to be talking about your path, and also envy and how to get that goal setting. The whole nine yards coming at you right now. Cher, tell me a little bit about path. So your path is so, so, so important. It is. Right? It really and, is important. And we wanted to encourage you to stay on your own path. We recently did a video on goal setting, right. which we're going to review. But we wanted to take a minute because we were talking about this. Right. We've noticed that a lot of people, and myself included, sometimes we look at other people's paths and right. their goals. Right. And sometimes we might get frustrated or envious that they're there already and we're not. So we wanted to take a, a, a quick minute to err, to bring you back over to your path right. and to encourage you to enjoy your path. Right. We are very lucky that we have a frontal cortex and we are one of the only creatures that can see a future state. So what's actually happening is you're looking at someone, you're like, hey, I want that. And I see myself there. And that is so special. So cool. So if you see that and you go through the process and say, that's really what I want, you can get there. Right? We have a whole thing on goal setting. We're going to touch over that. But just kind of recognize that. When you're looking at something, make sure that, hey, it's okay to want something, right? But then figure out how you're going to get there. And then, most important, I want you to enjoy your path. I want you to find joy getting to where you want to go. Because that is really where the true happiness of the journey is. Along the way. It is along the way. Right. I was telling Scott that over the summer, um, I hiked to the bottom of the Grand Canyon and right. spent the night and then hiked back out again. And it was amazing. It was beautiful. It was phenomenal. But it was afterwards, it was kind of like, oh, it was kind of anticlimactic almost, right. even though it's the Grand Canyon. And I was just really reflecting that it was so much fun planning it. It is. Right? right. And so much fun training for it and checking in with my son who I did it with. Like, right. oh, how much altitude did you do? And it just really made me remember like how important the journey is. It is. To enjoy it every step of the way. And we were watching Matthew McConaughey yeah. and I was just like, oh, it's so beautiful. Because he really touched on that. Right. On joy. And that the process is, that's the joy is the process. Right. In the, in, in the journey. Because if you get there, really cool to you know to get there and have Absolutely. Your accomplishments. Right. And accomplishments are wonderful and amazing. But if you miss out on the journey, you're really like giving up the, the gold right there. Because that's life. That's your everyday. That's your your planning and that's your relationships and that's the path for you. So please don't miss out on your path and your journey. Because that's the beauty of life. Is that your work that you did to get there? A little bit on goals because Scott was talking, right? Yeah. There's something that you see in a future state that you want. So again, we did a video on, on goal setting, but we'll kind of recap it right here. But a goal and having a future thing that you see is beautiful and wonderful. The first step to it is to make sure that you believe that it's possible for you. Right. That you've seen someone do it. Right. And you told me before you were an architect, you said, oh, that looks kind of cool. Right. And then you said, I see people do that. And I actually reached out to many people. I wanted to make sure that it was obtainable. I texted a lot of people and said, hey, how did you get there? And just reflecting back on the thing, they said, hey, great, come aboard. This is how you do it. And enjoy your path. They were like, I wish I were you. Because I remember how much fun it is to do the various exams. I mean, I think we all can look back and say, if you're doing like the admin exam, there's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool studying, a lot of new concepts. You're going to really enjoy it. So enjoy that path. Share. what else do we have to do to meet those goals, though? Right. And I, I, he just did so many things well when he was going after that goal. So he saw that it was attainable. Right. And he reached out for mentors. Right. The, uh, kind of the framework for goal setting is to make a smart goal. Right. To make sure it's very specific. And Scott's goal was very specific. He said, I want an admin certificate. And right. then again, that was measurable. So he could measure it by, well, he knew he had attained it when he had the admin certificate. And then, Easy. so that's yeah. the S, the M. So smart, measurable, and then attainable. And he knew that it was attainable because he saw other people with it. Right. And he actually reached out to them, which was brilliant because he reached out to mentors. So attainable, um, specific, measurable, attainable, and realistic. Was this a realistic goal? And uh -huh. we actually, remember we talked about that. 
because you always have a lot of stuff going on. And I said, is it realistic? Yeah. Are you willing to make this a priority? Right. Because you might have to, you have a lot of cool stuff going on. You might have to like put some other things aside to make this a priority. Right. Because you know, I could talk to you all day long about goals and I love goals and I love seeing people reach for really, really big goals. Right. And everything, Absolutely. it's attainable. If you see someone doing it and if you follow the steps, very doable. Right. But are you willing to make it a priority? And are you willing to do the work? And Scott said, oh yeah, I'm willing to do the work. So is it realistic? And then is it time limited? Is there a specific time? So he set a time frame. Again, he met with his mentors and he said, you know, how long did it take you to do it? And so he planned it out and this is the time frame. So he had all of these things in place to keep him on track to get the goal. So those that's the framework for setting a goal. Goals are very attainable. Um, it makes me sad sometimes when people set goals and they don't reach them. Right. Um, a lot of pieces go into it. Like I was saying, is it really a priority for you? Are you, do you have all the ingredients in place? So again, you could watch our video on goal setting. Um, it's a very specific formula, but we wanted to just jump on because we were talking about goals that we have and, um, and then we're reflecting that sometimes like, and people looked at us and they're like, Oh, like we wish we were, you know, where you were. And we're like, Oh, that's really interesting. Right. Because they were almost envious. And we have people who were envious of, and we're like, you know what? We just have fun. Yeah. We're like, shoot, just enjoy the journey. Like enjoy, you know, I transformed my living room from, you know, into like now a studio with lights and it's just been fun. Right. Right. And if I, if, you know, if I didn't enjoy the process, it would be kind of sad because I would have been missing the journey. Yeah, it's so true. I think a lot of people that have certifications and they look and they hear something, hey, I'm interested in becoming whatever it is, whatever certification. You're like, hey, if I've had that one, wow, you're almost envious. You're like, you remember those late nights. You remember the concepts they're going to learn. So they're enjoying, you know, the path that they're going to go on and you tell them, hey, enjoy the path, the journey. I think it's really important that you see a future state, right? You see where you want to go. Think dream high, right? Think beyond your wildest dreams and then enjoy your journey of getting there. It's not going to happen overnight. And I think that's actually an amazing thing. If it did happen overnight, it, it really would, you wouldn't have a great journey. So I'm actually glad that it took me quite a long time to become an architect. I enjoyed every single cert that I got. I've enjoyed every little inch of the learning and i i'm actually sometimes kind of sad that you know i've actually accomplished those but there's still more certs out there so i, I still have some joy left so. <laughs> he has some more joy left i love that and he's really good about setting really big goals because if you reach your goal overnight it makes me wonder if you didn't set your goal high right enough. But i love that saying right? yeah well we just really want to encourage you to enjoy the process again i love matthew mcconaughey and you know he has a star on the hollywood walk right. of fame and just you know I, we were listening to him again talk and I love the process for him. He just finds joy along the way because that's what life's all about. So we, we just wanted to jump on and make the focus of this video is don't compare, don't put yourself down, don't get into right. a negative mindset, you know, right. that beating yourself up. Focus on your journey, you know, make some big goals. We love it, love it, love it. Right. And when you see someone else there, it lets you know that that's an attainable goal. That's a good thing. But right. And I really encourage you to, to share this message. I mean, if you've already achieved something in the Salesforce ecosystem and you see somebody who's just starting out, whether they're going through the advanced admin and say, hey, that is great. I'm glad you finally thought that through. You're ready to commit. And then encourage them. Enjoy it, right? You're going to have a lot of fun, right? Going through and learning deeper and really enjoy that moment. Because as soon as you take that, that test, that advanced admin test, and it's over, then it's time to look for the next goal. So enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. <laughs> and it's actually very touching. I, I, I love encouragement because um, helping others out, I mean, that's right. the Ohana way. And just encouraging and supporting others to reach right. their goals is so powerful. You know, and it's kind of what being alive is all about is setting goals and getting there and having joy um, and, and fun along the way. So again, that was the focus of our video. Yep. Um, and we hope that this resonates with you and that you could take some of these principles and Think them through um, and make some big goals. Right. Don't compare yourself to others and, you know, stay on your path. And if you're on a path and you see someone struggling, encourage them. Yeah. And thank you for listening. And please follow us on Empowering, Empowering Our, Our Minds. Minds. Thanks thank so much. You.